welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. And if you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I randomly choose one for my new notifications. So today we're here with a world overview. Keep leaving me world overviews. I'm going to pin a comment in each one of my world overview videos because I have the longest list of worlds you guys have been leaving me. And I feel like pinning a comment and you guys leaving it under that comment each video. Um, and if I haven't if I've hearted your comments, I've already put that world on the list. So every world that you guys left me in the last world overview is on my list. So if you have anything new, you can leave it in the pinned comment. So we're going to get into this. We are going to take a look at Ocean View today. I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, it is on the Sims catalog, as you can see, and it's kind of just filtering through some of the screenshots of what this world looks like. It looks like it's really pretty. So I'm excited to kind of take a look inside, but I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit about it because I feel like this kind of helps you guys see, you know, beforehand if you guys can run it, if you guys want it, if you have the, you know, packs and stuff like that. I feel like having a visual is a little bit more helpful. So it says Ocean View is a large city world with 166 lots broken down into several districts with each district feeling suburban, downtown district, beach, and rural. So that's kind of cool. It is populated, which is even better, with more than a dozen families and has many different types of houses ranging from Victorian, which are my favorite, to row house. There are several skyscrapers, apartment, skyscraper apartments, and penthouses available. As for specs, Ocean View needs the following EPs plus Riverview from the Sims 3 store below to run. So it looks like we need world adventures, we need ambitions, we need late night, we need generations, pets, uh, showtime, and seasons. So it is populated. There is no custom content, which I know you guys will love because I do as well, because sometimes it gets really overwhelming with custom content. Uh, so yeah, and I guess The Sims Depot is who created this world. I will have a link in the description if you guys decide that you would like to download this for yourself. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into okay, the world. So now that we are in game, we're going to take a look around and see what we have going on here. I forgot to tell you guys to grab a snack grab a drink all of that stuff because I usually have these videos as longer videos so let's see there's a lot of places we can move into so I can see all of the apartments here and then it looks like we've got like the nice little you know family homes over here um I'm curious what that is over here and what that is. Okay, so this is a pretty large world. Oh, wow, there's even some stuff over here. Okay, this kind of reminds me of the Sunset Valley map in a way. I kind of am excited to take a look at these little beach houses over here. Okay, okay. I don't know what this is too. There's a lot of stuff I want to kind of look at. So this is a pretty large looking world. Uh, so I apologize. It's very hard for me to find small worlds. Plus, like I said, I'm going down the list right now of like what you guys have requested because oh my gosh, there's even a little place over here. What even? There's a lot to look at. So we're going to take a look at, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are these? Townhouse. We've got townhouses. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's all these townhouses and I'm super excited. I'm going to look at these first. So we're obviously not going to look at all of the um, unfurnished and furnished ones that we can move into right away because that would just, you know, we would be here forever. And I'm sure you guys would be like, please shut up eventually. Or maybe you're saying that right now. Uh, but we're going to take a look. Let's go ahead and check out this one because I kind of like the shape of this one. So Brewster Court. Let's take a look inside here and see what you got to offer. So you can purchase it furnished, which, you know, we love that. We truly do. Okay. For some reason, this is giving me like Sims 2 vibes. And I don't know why. Ooh, I want to look at this right here. I want to look at, is this a townhouse or is this like a lot for us to go out to because that looks really really fun if this is like an actual townhouse i don't think it is no this looks like it's like a community lot okay because i was like wait a minute what is happening right now okay let's go find here we are oh my gosh i just about like choked okay <laughs> Wow. Okay. We need to calm down here. Um, I don't know what this is right here. Oh, it's just like, okay, you can probably put like a little like computer in here or something that could be like a little office nook or something like that. Uh, but this is a one bedroom. It looks like, but I kind of like it cause you know, it's, it's pretty spacious. There's a lot of room. It's not super small and 
you of course can purchase this furnished which is ideal for me but you know even the bedroom is pretty big so if you have like a toddler or a baby you could you could make it work or you could stick the toddler over here in the little nook right here <laughs> Uh, but I like this. I really am excited that there are like little townhouses. Okay, which other one do we want to look at? These look like they're bigger ones. Townhouses too. So three bedroom, two bathroom, three bedroom, two bathroom, laundry. Fuck laundry. All right. Um, we're not doing that. Uh, so we can purchase this unfurnished, but not furnished because this is more of your, I guess, expensive, expensive home. Okay. All right. If we could just like calm down here, please. All right. So here we go. Here is... Oh, okay, so yeah, you can have a couple of kids. I don't like the flooring whatsoever, but I do like that there are three bedrooms here. Is there, there's gotta be, I was gonna say, there's gotta be another floor here because where the fuck is the kitchen? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I don't dig the flooring at all, but I do like this townhouse. This would actually be a really good, okay, like, why does this feel like Sims 2 to me? Why do I always do this? I'm like, wow, this reminds me of a Sims 2 apartment, like, is it? I don't know, but it's giving me it's giving me those vibes. So this is actually pretty, pretty nice. Uh, and of course, like I said, you can have a family here. There's three bedrooms and they're not tiny rooms like these are decent sized rooms for kiddos. And then, of course, you know, you have the bigger room over here and there's two bathrooms. So I really like this. I wish I could purchase it unfurnished or purchase it furnished, but I can't. Uh, what do we got over here? Brewster Townhouse three one bedroom one bath these are kind of interesting looking for me formerly the home of poor working class immigrants brewster's townhouses have been renovated to accommodate an influx of trust fund babies and hipsters okay so i didn't pay attention i need to probably pay attention more to like the you know descriptions but i always just want to like hop into it uh but i'm really digging this i really am i like this a lot all right let's see where is it over here so we've got the one bedroom one bath this is um pretty this one's pretty plain to me uh but you know it is what it is this is this is a little bit more decorated down here but I just like having things done for me <laughs> because I suck at it but I like this like you can walk outside here and you can have a barbecue I would not be too thrilled with my neighbors being able to come over here like no can you just please stay in your space like please do not come over here uh <laughs> but I don't like the thing I'm not digging is like the dark wood I'm not really digging that in um, these couple apartments that I've seen. But you know what? Or townhouses, I'm sorry. It's not an apartment, but I can get over it. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. So we have a city townhouse I kind of want to take a look at. Converted warehouse. Um, what? Let's take a look at the converted warehouse, and then I'm going to look at one of the other ones. All right, because I'm looking at the top part of this, because it looks like there's a hot tub up here, and I'm a little bit... <gasps> Yes, there is a hot tub up here. Okay, like, didn't they have this in Sims 2? I feel like there was, like, a roof area, and then, like, you can, like, party, you know, with your other people in the apartments. Um, I don't know, but I like this one. This one's cute, okay? It's not so dark inside. The wood's not so dark or anything like that. Like, on these things it is, but, like, I'm just not digging this. Uh, but this one's fine, you know? I like this, and I like the fact that there's a hot tub on the freaking roof. Um, like, okay. Any, any hot sims live in the apartment building with me? Or, I'm sorry, the townhouse that want to woohoo? Because we got a spot right freaking there. All right, so I want to look at these because we've got two city townhouses. One bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath. Let's look at the one bedroom, one bath that we could move in. I'm just kind of curious if there's, like, a different style to it since it says, like, city. You know, maybe it's got a different vibe to it. I don't know. I really like these. I'm excited about the townhouse part of this. All right, so again, we've got the really dark wood that for some reason is just not like hitting it for me but I like the way these look like I like the style of them and I like the like spaciousness so I don't know it's a one bedroom one bath this is definitely doable I can get over the dark wood I don't know why I have such an opinion about it all of a sudden like who am I okay we've also got a bunch of apartments over here and we're not gonna look at all of them but I'm trying to figure out, okay, we've got a loft here. So let's look inside here. And of course it's one that you can't purchase furnished, but I still want to look inside of it. So we going to, all right, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, wow. This is, oh, wait, is this like a remake of a Bridgeport? I, I think so. I think this was in Bridgeport because I remember this 
like loft looking area i think they maybe just changed it a little bit i think that's what it is but i do like this one because i like the view that you have when you come out here you can just kind of see see what's going on speaking of view i can't wait to see like what we got going on here because this looks really beautiful all right let's see what else we got going on um what about over here these look like bridgeport ones that they probably just made over which is absolutely fine uh but let's take a look I want to look at one that we can get furnished because I kind of maybe want... Okay, the Wickingham. Let's take a look inside here. And then we're going to look at some of the houses. Um, this one looks fancy, but I don't think it is. Okay, it's definitely not. But for some reason, the outside with like this red carpet, I'm like, oh, fancy. But then you walk in and you're like, no, no, let's let's bring you down back to earth here. Uh, which actually is not too bad. There's a lot of room in here. I actually dig this one. Not so much the colors and like the sofas or anything, but I do like the layout of this one quite a bit. So I don't know. I might move into this one. I'm not quite sure. I still have to make a new current household. Well, I'm not going to make a new current household, you guys. You guys just saw my current household and I'm addicted to them. I'm looking for houses right now. Uh, but I, I'm stuck in the future. Like, I cannot get out of the future and I've tried everything. So I'm just going to save my family and start in a new world. Let's take a look over here. Tan towers. Okay, this is kind of interesting that over here there's like apartment buildings, but yeah, so my current household, I'm gonna have to like, you know, save them, which I did, and just kind of start over, but you know, whatever. As long as I'm able to play them, I will be happy. Okay, so that is a very big room up here, a very big loft type of area. This is giving me like Island Paradise vibes, all the, the blue color. I don't know. I like it though. I do dig it. I sure do. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I have no idea. Okay, right, well, so all of the annoying things have happened. So we're going to take a look around and there is a lot to do in this world, which really excites me. So we have a consignment shop. We have Plasma 501. We've got a library, which I'm going to have her come to the library. Oh, it looks like the mascot is still here. I'm just kind of curious what the library looks like here. We have Manhattan Club. We've got the Oasis, which... I'm pretty sure that is a Bridgeport one, too. Um, we've got some parks over here. We've got all kinds of stuff. Like, this, like, downtown area is where it's at. Circus. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Ocean View Community Center. Okay, we looks like there's a performance park. Vista Park. We've got Sunrise Park. Quarter Party Mini Warehouse is right across the street from us. So, there looks like there's a lot to do oh so this is the graveyard over here i was wondering what that was uh we have the diner over here we've got fernando's hideaway what is that anything exciting no it's, i guess it's just the beach over here a little beachy area okay let me see what else we got going on here there's just so much this is kind of interesting like how this is like off to the side here oh but this is cute so you can come here and then you can like bring the kiddos and they can play hopscotch and then there's like little things to look out here telescope what else do we got going on there's something downstairs oh maybe not oh oh okay well you can just like come here and like you know, light a fire, have a fire pit. What's on this side? And then there's some games and stuff over here. Here's the sim. It looks like one of the sims. That, where did she go? She straight up just disappeared. Okay. Here she is. I'm like, I want to see what she looks like. So this is one of the sims that is in town here. So let me take a look at her. She is super cute. And she looks like she might be like... She might be a little bit of trouble, but you know what? We like we like that, okay? Uh, we're apparently talking to somebody. I don't know who, who she is, but I don't know where to start. What is this? This is the pool. Ooh, this looks interesting. Let's take a look inside of this place. So here is the pool area. Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. Okay, let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, there's Sims chilling in here already. Wow. Okay, we've got Eleanor, we've got Steven, and we've got a name I cannot pronounce and I'm not even going to try to because I don't want to butcher it. Um, and we've got Frank and we've got we've got a whole family over here, but this is really really cute. I like this pool. This this for some reason looks like a Roaring Heights pool. Like I feel like this would fit really well in Roaring Heights. Um, okay. So we're having a conversation with somebody over here and I want to take a look and see what the library is looking like. Um, over here. We've got more Sims. Wow. 
there are sims all over this town okay so we got Susie over here oh my gosh hold on i thought i was gonna find you attractive because i saw your style and i am not sure i think i might have to change my mind what do you both look like i need i need to know things like can you please take off your glasses because i need to know i feel like i feel like i might like you i'm not sure also you i'm not sure yet Okay, so this is who we've been talking to. All right, I you know what? I need to know things. Let's let's introduce ourselves to him. This is not a let's play, Ashley, but there are so many Sims just chilling here. Oh my god. Okay, you're old, but you know we could probably do something with you for a minute and you know steal your money. So they're attracted to each other. Okay, he looks like he's mean, and I'm into it. So let me ask you what your career is because I just have to know before I move on here because I think I I might know just by looking at you. I might be shook though. Okay, so we're in the library. We should be looking at what the library looks like and not what sim we're going to woohoo with. Oh, there's a place for the kiddos up here. Um, exactly. I, I knew it. I freaking knew it. I should have. Yep. I knew it. He's in the criminal career. Okay, boy. Well, can we? You, you're like a little older, but Which is fine. you um you could probably be really good with Trista. I think he's older. I think he's an adult and she's a young adult. I'm not quite sure, but you know it's fine. It's fine. He's a cute guy. Anyways, let's move on here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What is this life that I'm leading? Okay, so we have a park over here. Let's take a look in the houses. Oh, it looks like somebody lives here. So we're going to come stalk you. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> All right. So this actually looks like this is going to be a cute house. I think I'm going to like this for some reason. Uh, this is like the outside and the way it looks is like giving me like 70s and 80s vibes. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the inside, not so much, but I like it. This is very cute. So it's a two bedroom and it's a two bedroom, one bath, but I like this. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's the porch. I don't know, but I like this one. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this up and let's see what else we got going on here. Let's look at this guy over here. Again, this is somebody else's house, but we're going to look at it anyways. Let's take a look in here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this one's giving me, like, those vibes, too, like, 70s and 80s. I, I don't know, like, the patterns and stuff and just the way it looks. And I am for that 100%. Like, I'm an 80s baby, so I always get super nostalgic when I see stuff like that. I'm just like bring me back the good old days <laughs> uh, but that's kind of the vibe i'm getting is the good old days from that um oh this looks like this might be a bigger house let's see this one is also the sitcom house oh okay who's who's this chuck sitcom i don't know if that is like based off of anything uh but if not i you know the, that's fine <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, okay, so we've got two bedrooms up here. It looks like two kiddo rooms. Oh, wow, this is a pretty big house. Bright red carpets. Holy guacamole. But then again, oh my god, right here. I'm telling you guys, I've told you this in another video. The green carpet. I had a green carpet in, well, my whole living room area in my childhood home because, you know, that's just apparently what it was. And that's the vibe I'm getting. And I am for that. Like, this is definitely getting me way too excited. <laughs> okay, here. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's take a look inside of this guy here. Nobody lives here, which is nice because I was hoping we could purchase a home at some point. But, Okay. All right, this one is nice too. It's it's very bare inside, but you know what? It is fine. Um, but I'm definitely getting those vibes still. The the colors, the patterns. I'm having those vibes, and I'm a little interested in the uh, choice of this. Like I don't know why it's wood, but you know whatever, whatever. Let's take a look in another home, possibly. Um. Let's see, we did a few. Oh, wait, I see this one. It's pink, and I'm just curious as to what this is. Okay, so the Funchello house? Let's take a look in here. I don't know, it just kind of grabbed my eye. I saw the pink, and I was like, okay. Okay, see again the patterns, and I'm just telling you right now. I'm telling you right now something about it. I don't know, like, 
I I am really liking these houses because they're making me think of my childhood. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, let's go. Did we go over here? I don't think we did. This one is, ooh, this is a bigger house. Okay, let's look inside here. Does somebody live here? Nobody lives here. This could be our house one day. We just gotta, you know, be a criminal with that man over there uh, that we are kind of chatting with. Okay, so it's empty up here. I hope the whole time. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of bare, which, you know, people love that because you can decorate it yourself, but I'm not good at all of that. So I like it to be done for me because I am stupid. Uh, <laughs> okay. I like this one. I just wish it was, you know, decorated so I didn't have to do it, but it's not the biggest deal at all. What is this? Coogan's Pier? What is this? Oh, okay. I guess you can just come here and play chess and stuff like that, which... Is really cool. I wish there was a festival lot here. I always hate that whenever there's like a world and there's like no festival lots, which obviously not everybody makes festival lots, but I think it would be cool if there was a festival lot in a lot of these like custom worlds. Okay, we've got a cute little park over here, which we love so much because of course you can bring the kiddos here and there's stuff for the kiddos to kind of play with. Um, let me see that looks like that'd be good in Appaloosa Plains and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from over here uh what do we have old McGinty's farm what is that <gasps> pumpkins yes okay that's all I needed to see what is inside I oh I guess nothing I guess there's nothing inside here so it's just a place to come here and get some you know pumpkins because that's the whole reason I would be here is for the pumpkins all right what else do we have over here we have oh this is that bar I think yeah let's go to Kiki's dive bar because I'm pretty sure this is the one I was looking at yeah and it had the stuff upstairs okay because I was thinking oh there's like a little place up here if you want showtime you have your sims like singing and acrobats and all that stuff so oh okay I like this. It's definitely very dive bar -y. Look at these, look at these horses head on the, on the freaking bar. Like that's a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. Like it kind of freaks me out, but it's fine. It's no biggie, but I do like this. This is definitely a very dive bar feel, but I love the fact that you can come up here and perform and have like an outside performance if you want to sing and stuff, which I haven't done anything showtime in so long, but you know, I think that's cool. I have played Showtime probably the least out of all of the packs. I like it. I just, it's just not what I usually, you know, gravitate to. What else do we have that we can look in? We have, I wanted to look in this club if we can. Is it open? It's not open yet. So I'll come back because I don't feel like clicking open. <laughs> like, uh, okay. I don't feel like clicking open. What is wrong with me? Like Arthur Park. Okay. What do we got over here? Ooh, there's something going on down here. Okay. This is cute. What do we have? Oh, there's a little bar here. <gasps> Perfect. I love when there's bars everywhere for my Sims because, you know, we got to go get juiced and we got to, you know, food truck stop. Yes, of course. Of course. Oh, the science facility is over here. We got two Sims trying to kind of chat with us, but they need to like move on somewhere. We have another park over here. I just like to look and see what the parks have. There's a little bit of something I've noticed, even if it's just one thing like the little hopscotch thing. There's a little bit of something for the kids at each park that I've seen. So that's kind of cute. Oh, Sunrise Playground. What? Okay, there's the hopscotch here. Playground, I would have thought there would have been more. Like, I feel like if I were to do this, I would probably move these tables out or like some of these and put like an actual playground. But again, there is something here still for the kiddos to do. So we love that. And then this looks like this is going to be a little park for Showtime as well. I didn't mean to click on that, but what's going on here? Another little bar. Well, it's not like an actual bar. It's like one of those other bars, you know, the ones I don't like, but you can easily put in one of the bars that I do like. So let's see. What else do we got going on? I keep getting lost because this world is so big. Okay. So I wanted to know what this was. <gasps> oh my God. This is a festival grounds. <gasps> they have a festival lot. I wish to sing. I wish they did. Oh my god. And then look at, see, this is so freaking cute. It's a little playground area. Oh my gosh. So they do have a festival ground. That makes me so excited. I think this is one of the only ones that um, I've seen that has a festival ground. I thought you were, uh, what's his name from Lucky Palms, but you are not. So there's Sims all over, which is really cool because I didn't expect to see so many Sims on, on all of these lots. Is this a house? 
What is this? Is this like a motel? Oh my god. Visit the Heartbreak Hotel household. I need to look inside here right freaking now. What? Oh my god. Are you one of the hotel people? Heartbreak Hotel. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. The creativity that goes into... Oh my gosh. You could have like 100 Baby Challenge up in here. Like honestly, you really could. Can you like... Yeah, it's just like... um. It's just like a hotel, but obviously somebody lives here. So there's tons of bedrooms. Like, you could have the 100 baby hotel here. Like, what even? This is cute. I really like the way this looks because that was my first thought was, is this a hotel? And it sure enough is a household that is looking like a hotel. All right. We've got the little holy poly event center. That is not probably how you say it. Oh, I wanted to look at these houses. I was really excited about these little beach looking houses over here. Uh, I don't know why. I just think they look really cute. We need to take a look at this world because honestly, I'm kind of obsessed. <gasps> There's a hot air balloon, you guys. I get way too excited. I had a dream that there was a hot air balloon in my old neighborhood. This was just a few days ago, you guys. This is how insane I am. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me go back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like I was saying before, I just like totally went everywhere. I had a dream that there was a hot air balloon like flying. I have a lot of dreams about hot air balloons for some reason. Um, but I had a dream that there was a hot air balloon in my old neighborhood and it crashed to the freaking ground and it was the most terrifying thing in the entire world. And I'm like, girl, what? Yeah. So I just had to tell you guys that. <laughs> okay, so this one, I, you know, I like it. I like the outside, how it has like the wraparound, um the wraparound porch and it's on the freaking beach are you kidding me it's on the beach and there's sims over here there are sims all over in this town like i have not seen that like that there's so many of them and i don't even have the mod in which there is a mod where you can have like more sims um like per lot okay somebody lives here but we're gonna we're gonna open it up anyway uh but i don't have that mod in so that's kind of cool that they're just kind of chilling and doing the thing okay so this is a cute little house i love this bed why do i never use it this is a perfect uh you know house to use it in because you know you ride on the beach so we love it not a fan of the downstairs this color is like not it for me um but there's a cute little puppers this is a corgi no it has a tail so I don't know. I like the fact that you can like literally live on the freaking beach. Okay, let's see. We're going to only do a couple of more things because I have been filming for far too long. Um, what is this? Turtle Beach Gate. Okay, so there's just like Turtle Beach over here. What is this? What is going on over here? I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here, but that's kind of cool. And then you've got the beach here. Like, this is a really, really nice world. Okay, definitely keeping this one in too because I just like the way it looks. Like sometimes I get rid of worlds that I'm like not 100% in love with, but I think I'm going to keep this one in. I'm, I'm pretty much digging it. All right, where should we go? I want to go to like one more, one more place. Maybe we were just over there. I'm getting myself so backwards in this world. Let me see. What is she, what is she doing? Who is she talking to? She's like chatting with all of the people. Chester Chadwick. Didn't we look in your house? We might have. There's a lot of old people in this world and like we could definitely like steal their money. Hopefully you have big houses because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm absolutely the worst. Okay. I wanted to look in another house and I don't know where to even begin or where to go. Like I'm all over the place here, you guys, and I apologize, but I'm trying to find a house that I haven't looked in that like... Okay, I looked in the pink one. Let's see. What about this one? Let's look inside here. Does this have somebody live here? Somebody lives here. We're going to take a look at it. This has like the little white picket fence. This looks like this is going to be a cute little family home for all you family oriented Sims players, which I am, but I'm also a life ruiner. Um, <laughs> Sims player. That should have been my name, life ruiner. Like how life simmer, but I'm life ruiner. <laughs> oh, boy. I am just like that. 
Okay. <laughs> this one's okay. I'm not, like, thrilled with it. I thought it would have been a little more... I don't know. It's, like, one bedroom. I imagine this to be a family house, and it's really not. Maybe it has secrets. I don't know. But I think on that note, I am going to wrap it up right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember, I am going to have a pinned comment in this video where you guys can leave more suggestions of worlds because I am making a list, which is pretty damn big right now. But I'm going to keep adding to it because you can never get enough of, uh, you know, world overviews. So if, like I said, I already hearted your comment, I have it on the list already. But if not, you can leave it you know, down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, turn on your post notifications, all of that exciting stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.